In order to reduce the various negative impacts of transport while still retaining and extending benefits associated with mobility, transport has to be transformed in a way that goes beyond replacing technologies. How, why and who moves has to change. While mobility enables and moves, it also restricts and divides into those benefiting and those suffering from its exclusive and unsustainable patterns and consequences. Starting with the Neolithic Revolution, humanity transitioned from nomadic lifestyles of hunting and gathering to permanent settlements through the establishment of agriculture. Centuries later, technological advancements have initiated similar changes. Today, humanity is driven by constant, fast and seamless mobility that lies at the center of constellations of power and determines the organization of all contemporary life. Everything moves. People, capital, technology, commodities, waste, ideas, information, risks and disasters. But as mentioned, current extreme forms of mobility are both a blessing and a curse. Today, an exclusive group, a mobility or kinetic elite, have endless options of where to be, move and travel. City trips, luxurious business travel, long-distance holidays, global nomad and gap year lifestyles have developed as new status symbols for a few privileged. These hypermobile people take frequent trips and account for a large share of all distances traveled. Traveling has always been a big part of my life. Traveling means adding different cities and countries on my phone's clock app and having more than one passport because there aren't enough pages for stamps. I feel cosmopolitan because I call the world my home. Airports are like living rooms for me. My exposure to other places and cultures help me to become much more open-minded. My mantra is, don't let your lives be dictated by boundaries and materials. Let it be defined by the fleeting experiences you encounter and your friends, family, and all the new wonderful happy people you meet. Mobility can lead to exclusion through environmental degradation, adverse public health impacts, high accident rates, declining public transport use, and changes in urban design. The desire for faster, higher, further and more movement causes, apart from environmental degradation, also increasing polarization between rich and poor. Current mobility patterns are built in social and economic inequalities. On the dark side of those developments are the mobility poor, migrants, disabled, elderly, displaced and people with the wrong passports, who suffer from immobility, restricted movement capacities and forced mobility. Forced migration, especially due to the detrimental consequences of climate change, is adversely impacting the lives of millions of people. I had to run away after a heavy rainfall washed away our farmland, animals and home. Everything was lost. I had no clue where I was going and I still haven't. I left behind all my clothes, books and school friends my entire life. I've lost my home forever. My family has lived on the farm for more than 100 years. I hope I can soon reach a place where I can build a new life. But I'm scared that they won't accept me. I had to quit school, so I don't really have any education or skills. Current patterns of transport and mobility and their consequences are unsustainable as well as unequally distributed. Future mobility has to be designed in a way that enables movement, accessibility and connectivity while preventing exclusive forms and their consequences. The transformation of the transport system will entail wide-ranging changes, sacrifices and restrictions, but it will also enable the development towards a more sustainable and just future society. <laughs>